You won't believe this. A useless discarded battery in the hands of a repairman in Pakistan. He actually managed to fix the battery. Because in this country, there are many repairmen. Their skills are very superb. They just need to do a simple treatment inside the battery and they can get a brand new battery. First, they will use the fastest way to measure whether the battery has electricity. When there is no reaction, it means that the inside can no longer store electricity normally. Then the repairman will open the battery completely. The whole cover was quickly removed without damage. Although the battery can't store electricity now, it doesn't mean that the plates inside can't be used, so they still need to sort out the blackened plates. Although the chemical substances on the plates have failed, but in order to separate the negative plates from the insulating plates, they use the fastest method to dry the negative plates that can still be used. In order to reduce the cost of battery refurbishment, the insulating plates dismantled inside the battery can be reused, and the residual oxide on the surface just need to wash and dry in water. Pakistan is a tropical climate. These selected negative plates can be dried before the sun goes down, but these plates can't be used normally. Because the pole ears are too short, they also need to repair them by hand. Although they don't have professional repair tools, but they are very smart. This kind of plate repair is very simple for them. The only drawback is that they can't control the length, so they still need to trim. The purpose is to facilitate the subsequent welding and without using the mold casting. The thickness of the repaired plate will also be different, so the repairman will adjust the surface by grinding. The uniformity of the thickness can not only prevent the plate from short circuit, grinding can also make the pole ears more firmly welded. After the pole ear repair work is over, the repairman will stack the plates and insulating plates again. The general battery is composed of six groups of plates connected in series. So each group of plates will also distinguish between positive and negative plates, because positive and negative poles can't touch directly. So the dried insulating plates still need to be mixed in the middle. This way, the positive and negative plates are completely separated, without the mold. The partition holes in the battery can only be made by themselves. The main purpose is to prevent the leakage of electrolyte. Then the top of the partition is heated and melted. And this is the connection position after the repairman's transformation. The sorted and fixed pole groups also need to be connected. In order to make the pole groups more beautiful, they will use homemade iron plate molds to shape. Not only can they connect the pole groups together, but also make them uniform in shape. In order to facilitate the repairman's subsequent series welding, and the direct casting of the pole group will have gaps. In order to avoid risks, the repairman will also use an iron to melt the surface at high temperature. The strength after cooling again is higher. Under the skilled operation of the repairman, he quickly entered the assembly link. When the plate is fully in contact with the bottom of the shell, the pole column still needs to be trimmed. The pole column must be flush with the battery shell partition. This can facilitate the pole column welding. Finally, install the battery cover. Make it fit completely. The battery port also needs to be welded. The main purpose is to prevent the leakage of electrolyte. After the repairman's careful polishing, he will also re-engrave the original connector. Due to the limited conditions in the shop, there is no high-end hot melt machine, so the repairman will heat and melt the plastic of the scrapped battery shell. This can not only deal with the cracked shell, but also waste utilization. Then the repairman prepared the electrolyte. When the concentration meets the requirements, pour the electrolyte into the battery. Its main component is dilute sulfuric acid. Then the new battery needs to be reactivated, because the repairman does not have a tool to measure the voltage, so he can only test it by electric sparks. When electric sparks appear, it means that the new battery is done. It's really amazing. 